Hello, my sweet pre-K friends. Um, it's a pretty dreary day out there right now, but I have faith that warmer, more wonderful weather is right around the corner and we can get back outside again. Today, I'm going to be reading a story to you guys, and then we are going to draw a picture together. And me, I've got um, paints, I have watercolors. I've also got markers. You can use crayons. Oh, I also have water, excuse me, and paint brushes for my watercolors. You can use um, other kinds of paints, um, whatever it is you guys have at home. And I've got um, white paper. <clears throat> you can use construction paper or printer paper and just whatever you have around the house. So, I have this book called Charlie the Caterpillar by Dom DeLuise, that's the author, and illustrated by Christopher Santoro. I love this, these pictures, he's so cute. One day, one bright and sunny day, Charlie the Caterpillar was born. The world looked very, very big to Charlie because he was very, very small. Because he was just born. Charlie soon found out how delicious green things tasted. As he was nibbling on a blade of grass, he could hear the wind whistling and the birds singing. He smiled. He was glad to be alive. Charlie decided to set out and see the world. So he looked to the left and he looked to the right and then he went straight ahead. Soon Charlie saw two monkeys. Hi, said Charlie, what are you doing? We're playing cards, they said. Oh, said Charlie, that sounds like fun. Can I play too? No, you can't, said the monkeys. Why not, asked Charlie. Because you're an ugly caterpillar. Now get out of here. <gasps> Charlie, for the very first time in his young life, felt bad. He sighed and would have shrugged his shoulders if he had any. He looked to the left and he looked to the right. And then he went, you guessed it, straight ahead. Mean monkeys. Pretty soon he saw two rabbits hopping around. Hi, said Charlie. What are you guys doing? We're, we're playing tennis, they said. Oh, said Charlie. That looks like fun. Can I play too? No, you can't, said the rabbits. Why not, asked Charlie. Because you're an ugly caterpillar and we don't play with ugly caterpillars. Now get out of here. Now for the second time in his young life, Charlie felt bad, very bad. His feelings were hurt. What is ugly, wondered Charlie. He didn't feel ugly. He looked to the left and he looked to the right. And then he went straight ahead. Just then, Charlie saw two mice playing miniature golf. These mice were so small, they had to play miniature golf. Hi, said Charlie, what are you doing? We're playing golf, they answered. Oh, said Charlie, that really looks like fun. Can I play too? No, you can't, said the mice. Why not? Why not? asked Charlie. Because you're an ugly caterpillar, and we really don't play with ugly caterpillars. Now get out of here. Charlie, for the third time in his now not-so-young life, felt very, very bad. In fact, Charlie started to feel ugly. No one wanted to play with him, so Charlie looked to the left, and he looked to the right, and then he started to cry. Aw, Charlie wanted to be alone. He climbed up a tree and snuggled up 
to a small branch. He felt a little cold. So he went like this, and he went like that, and he went like this, and he went like that. And before he knew it, he had spun himself a warm and wonderful cocoon, or chrysalis. Charlie was very sad about that ugly business. Why can't I have a friend, he wondered. Charlie was so tired from making the cocoon that he decided to take a nap. There he is down there all snug. Ah, what season do you think this is? Fall or autumn. If you said that, you guessed right. And what about this one? Yep, winter. All of a sudden, snow began to fall and to cover everything with white. Winter had come, <clears throat> but Charlie was nice and warm in his comfortable cocoon. Charlie dreamed that he had a best friend and that they laughed and had fun together. I don't see where Charlie is. He's too little right now to be able to see him. After a while, the grass began to grow. The flowers began to bloom and the birds began to have a party in the sky. Spring had come and somehow Charlie knew it was time to wake up. There he is. He's so cute. He yawned and stretched and then, oh my goodness. <gasps> Ta-da! Pop, pop. Charlie looked to the left and he looked to the right and oh, he had wings. Beautiful wings. Butterfly wings. Charlie had become a beautiful butterfly. Charlie fluttered his wings and guess what? He flew up and up and up. He laughed as he soared past the birds having a party in the sky. Charlie was flying high when he came upon the monkeys who were still playing cards. Oops, excuse me. <clears throat> oh, please come and play with us, begged the monkeys. Why, asked Charlie. Because you're a beautiful butterfly, they answered. No, thanks, said Charlie, smiling. I got to get out of here. He zoomed up and away. The monkeys jumped back, looking miserable. Serves them right, thought Charlie. Right. Because why would Charlie want to be friends with them? They were mean. He did a couple of loop-the-loops, and then he came across the rabbits at their tennis game. Oh, please, said the rabbits. Won't you come and play with us? Why, asked Charlie. Because you're such a beautiful butterfly, they answered. Not on your life, said Charlie. Now I got to get out of here. Then off he flew, leaving the rabbits looking very downhearted. Serves them right, thought Charlie. He circled around for a while, and then he saw the mice playing miniature golf. Please, pretty please, pleaded the mice. Do come and play with us. Why, asked Charlie. Because you're really such a beautiful butterfly, they answered. Sorry, not today, said Charlie. I really have better things to do. Now I gotta get out of here. Then off he soared, leaving the mice looking pitiful. Serves them right, thought Charlie. They all wanted to be his friends because he was now a beautiful butterfly. They didn't know he was Charlie, the ugly caterpillar. Well, I don't think he was ugly. And beauty is on the inside. If they want to be my friends just because of my beautiful wings, they can't be real friends, thought Charlie as he fluttered in the spring sunshine. Just then, Charlie heard someone crying. There she is. It was Katie, the caterpillar. Charlie came closer. Why are you crying, he asked. 
<laughs> because no one will play with me. No one wants to be my friend, cried Katie, because I'm an ugly caterpillar. I'll play with you, said Charlie, with a wink and a smile. I'll be your friend. You will, said Katie the caterpillar. Whoopee! Then Charlie took Katie aside and told her all about becoming a butterfly. <laughs> From that day on, Charlie and Katie played cards and tennis and even miniature golf together. They laughed and had a good time, just like in Charlie's dream. Katie was happy and Charlie was very happy. He had finally found a friend, a real friend, a best friend. So think about what it means to you to have a best friend. And why is that person your best friend? What do you like about them? And what makes you a really good friend? about sharing, being kind. There's lots of ways to be a good friend. All right, so now we are going to start our art project. And I remembered this butterfly in the last, I think it was the last book I read you guys, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And I thought, oh, that's a really cool butterfly. Um, and I thought, mm, I could pull out my watercolors and try and paint something like this. Now, my drawing or painting is not going to look anything like this. And yours probably isn't going to look anything like mine. And that's okay. It shouldn't. I want you guys to be creative and paint it the way you would like to paint it. But I'm just going to show you some tips on how to get started and how to make your own beautiful butterfly. So today, as I mentioned, we are going to be making a butterfly together. And you can make your butterfly however you want. You can just draw a straight line for the body and then some wings. Or what I'm gonna do is sort of this long oval shape kind of stretched out and the wings and start at the top and make what looks like sort of the letter B for the wings come back over to the other side and there you have it sometimes I like to do the wings pointy. But you can make yours however you want. Then I'm going to grab my jar of water and choose a color from these. There are so many, I don't even know where to start. I think I'm going to start with like a hot pink. And watercolors are very light. They kind of remind me of like a stained glass window. And I'm just going to paint along the inside of the wings. Like that. And put a bit more water. And then just keep adding colors as I go. And I can choose anything I want, right? Because it's my butterfly. Like this time I'm going to choose a pretty blue. And I'm going to make maybe like little circles around like that. Kind of like the circles in this butterfly. I thought that was kind of neat. 
then maybe I'll add a color inside like uh, I'll have a like a bright like a limey green Where's my green color maybe I'll add more green I like that I think I'll do maybe some stripes And again, you can do whatever you would like. Maybe I'll do the body now. I think it'd be kind of fun to do like a bright yellow, nice and cheery on this dreary day. Yeah, there's our yellow. Hmm, how about Maybe purple. This is like a lavender, lavender purple. Not quite as dark as some. So I'm just going to add some colors, some color where there isn't yet. Oh, it just, just wants to drip. Hey, hey, hey. That's the thing with watercolors, they are very drippy. And what about red? This is kind of like a fire engine red, but it's light. So maybe I'll just do some swirls. Oh, and you know what we forgot? I'm going to take my pen, make some antennas. And before my computer died, although it died sooner than I thought, because I did do this kite also at the bottom, and then realized I wasn't even taping the whole time. So all it is, is what shape is that? A diamond, just a big diamond shape. And then I did like the letter T, lowercase t, I connected Made a line from the top to the bottom, and one from one side to the other. Then added a ribbon or string, and then some ribbon on the string. These are really just triangles on each side. And then I painted my kite on the inside. So have fun with whatever it is you end up making, because I and I wish I could see it. Um, and maybe during our next Zoom, if any of you guys have done this, or next week, you can um, use it sort of as a show and tell and show everybody what you did. I really like that. Okay. Enjoy the rest of your day. Love you all. And chat soon.